Hello, my name is Terrell Jones, college development mentor and the author of The Fast Way to Win in College, and I'm glad you made it. You're on the inside now, and we are going to talk about in this video how to be a mentor. What I'm really going to teach you in this video, and what I really want you to get out of this video, is the fact that you can be an inspiration to other students on campus. Now, before we jump into it, I just want to congratulate you. Not too many students are going to raise their hand and say, you know, I want to help other students. I, I, I want to be able to pull and lift other students up. I want to be able to inspire other students. Why are many students not going to say that on campus? Because they're just trying to make it through themselves, right? They're trying to get the good grades. They're trying to figure out, oh, you know, what major do I choose or how I'm going to even stay in college, how I'm going to pay for college. Uh, they're trying to figure out how to get support from, uh, you know, from friends, uh, people they know, professors, TAs, they're trying to look anywhere they can get, uh, anywhere they can go to find the support that, that they need to find on campus. So, and it's been tough. I, I You don't know how many times I, I find students who say, hey, you know, Terrell, I'm not getting the kind of support that I need on campus. I just need somebody, you know, I just need to listen to air. I need somebody who's not doesn't even need to have all the answers you know, specifically in the math or in the psychology, communications, education, engineering, you know, but just somebody who's there who can just help guide me through the way, somebody that I can really just talk to and connect with. So I congratulate you for being here because it's so important that you make a difference on campus by helping other students and becoming that mentor and becoming that inspiration to other students. I mean, I'm sure you know my story by now, but just looking at it in a different perspective, the reason I really decided to become a mentor is because I saw that students really needed the help. I first joined uh, an organization to become a mentor during my undergrad. I was still a sophomore at the time, and since then, all the way up until now, and I've, I've been doing this for eight years now, since... Uh, I've been able to start helping students. I just continuously had that passion to really just lift students up and help. Even when I was in college, it was at a point where, listen, even if I'm a sophomore, I can still offer some benefits to freshmen. It's like you don't have to be, you don't have to be graduated. You don't have to be, you know, alumni. You don't have to be a senior. You don't have to be none of those things. If you are, you can be a sophomore, and you can be. I don't care if you're a second semester freshman. If you just started and let's you got a semester in or a year in, you know a little bit more than somebody who just started the journey. You know, they might just be looking, they might just be looking for things to do around campus. They might just be looking for, you know, how they're gonna get from campus to the store, campus to the supermarket. They might just be looking for what's the best professors to take. They may be looking for, you know, how how do I go about, you know, studying and it could be certain things that you've learned that you'll be able to help them with. Alright, where are the best places on campus to uh, study or or the best places on campus to you know to, to for if you want to have an activity or there's certain things that you can help them even if it's just them learning about the campus and the logistics. So be happy about that. Be proud at the fact that you can still be be a help and you can still be make a difference on campus and lift students up when they when they when they're trying to figure some things out. So congratulate you. So um so we're gonna get ahead and get started. I'm gonna tell you um right now this may be some things that you may or may not know, but it's not really about Hey, you know, I've heard these things before. It's more along the lines of, am I doing these things? And if I am doing these things, to what level of excellence am, am I doing it? Um, either way, just make sure you take some good notes. Right here, I have my handy dandy phone that's going to help me stay on track because I want to make sure that I'm giving you the information that you need in order to be as successful as you can throughout this entire video. Okay? All right, so... What what are, what are, what are students really going through right now? Think about it. Think about yourself. What are students really frustrated? They can be frustrated at everything from emotionally, of course, to what they got to pay for in college. But think about the areas that you can really help students in. That's really like the big areas that's going to make a difference within their college, 
within their college journey, their college career. One, it could be education, which is, okay, how, you know, how do I help students academically get through this process? You know, a lot of students are going through the process of, oh man, I don't, I don't know what to do for my grades. I don't know how to get my grades up. I can't, it's hard for me to pay attention, study. What do I need to do? All right, so you can help them academically or you can help them, you can just, you can help them get experience. You may know some places where they can be able to uh, internship for a job. You may know who to talk to inside the career, uh, the career office to uh, to help them find uh, uh, either a job or help them get an internship to help get to help so they can get that additional experience. Or you might just you might know people within certain organizations that they may want to join. It's something that that they may be a good fit in, whether it's a fraternity, a sorority, any kind of organization, something that's specific to their major that can help bring them forward and bring them some kind of happiness and fulfillment as well. But either way, uh, you can provide that help to them. If you specifically don't know what to mentor in, like you know, like Tara, I really want to help, but I don't know how to help then you can, a good starting place would be just with the book. You know, you get the fastest way to run to college. Um, you're watching this video, so that means that you should either have the book downloaded by now or you should have the book being sent to you on the way right now. So as soon as you get that, you know, read through it, internalize it first. But you can always bring somebody on that journey with you. Even if you haven't mastered it, you can bring somebody on that journey with you as you're learning and then you two can play off of each other and hold each other accountable and that is another form of mentoring as well so just be happy with that with that process so let me tell you a, a, a little bit about um, how you can really make a difference doing this one you could really make a difference by just being committed to it you know if you're going to help a student you know just if, the, if your time permits and you and you really want to help somebody, you know, continuously be try to help them. If you could meet with them multiple times, meet with them multiple times, maybe once a week, try to keep in contact with them because that's really going to make a difference within their life. See, what really makes me uh, distinct as I've been doing this over the years and why students have constantly been requesting me to, to, to really do more because I've been behind the scenes the whole time, right? I've been helping students since I've been in my undergrad. And what and what what really kept uh, uh, me uh, uh, distinct and, and consistent is the fact that I'm really working on things and helping students do things that are needle movers within college. I'm helping students do specific things that's really going to help them excel, advance, get into the career that they want to get into. Because if you think about it, right, what do you really want to get out of college? I mean, if you just boiled everything away. You left, you left the, the, the excuses away. What do you really want to get out of it? You want to get a, you want to make sure that you get your, your grades up, right? Guess you got the academics going because you need that obviously in order to actually graduate. But you don't just want to graduate. You also want to make sure that you get into the career that you want, obviously, right? So you can make an impact or you can make money, right? Or make a difference. So that's also what you want to do, but you don't want to just graduate. You don't want to just graduate, you know, got the good grades. I graduated, whoop de doo I got into the career I got into, but college, it just, I, I didn't really enjoy the process. I felt like I was suffering. I didn't like it. I felt homesick all the time. I didn't like none of the people. The campus activities is whack. I didn't want to get into anything. You want to make sure that you're enjoying that process as well. So that's why it's also important to focus on that expression part of it. If you remember the graduation trifecta, education, right? Uh, experience and expression. Those three E's, you focus on those things. You have a great college experience and you're going to be able to maximize and optimize college as well. So make sure that 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 you that you that you're doing those things. You're staying consistent, and you know you work with them every week, every month, whatever. But you know you, you're just there, and, and you really you're really helping them out, right? So let me give you some specific things that that you can really do to help students. All right. So I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you um, I'm gonna give you three steps that you need to help students. And so you can just constantly be there, be, be in their corner. Because if, you, if you're not there, students can feel like they, that they don't have nobody in their corner. They feel like they either got to drop out because they can't afford it. They might not have that motivation to keep going. 
they may feel that, you know, they, with nobody in their corner, a lot of students get depressed, a lot of students get uh, uh, commit suicide, a lot, of, they, a lot of students go into bad habits, uh, they influenced by bad people, bad things happen to them, drug abuse, all different types of things because they don't have nobody that's really guiding them. They don't have nobody that they can model after. They don't have no, they don't feel like they have support or anybody in the corner. So they just get influenced by every, every person that just comes their way and they might show them a little attention and then now their life can go from here going up to to down and and into a bottomless dark pit and who knows where their life could turn up so that's why it's really so important for, for you to be there for them so what do you need to do all right so it's three c's so if you want to really want to help somebody okay the first one is clarity. So you writing this down. It's clarity. Why is that important? Because first, before you can go in any direction, you need to know. You have to be clear on what you want to do, right? That you know, like like the saying says, if you don't know where you're going, any road will take you there. So, one, what are some of the things you're helping them get clarity on? You can help them get clarity on their major. You can help them get clarity on certain ways to study. You want to make sure that they're doing things effectively. You can help them get clarity on all right, how to pay for college, how to do FAFSA, um, how to apply for scholarships. You can help them get clarity on how to do internships, clarity on, okay, what should I do if I want to join certain organizations. First things first, when you're helping, when you start helping any student, you want to help them get clear on what they want. Because a lot of times students don't even know what they want. They know they feel some type of way. They know they feel frustrated. They know they want help, but they're really not clear on what they want to do. All right. Uh, number two, next you want to help them change their conduct. So it's good to have all the psychological, mental things good. Okay, I know what I want to do. I'm clear. I know my major. I know, you know, I know how to study. I know how to, you know, I, I know how to network on campus. I know how to be a little bit more confident now. I know how to, you know, I know what I want to do with organization, fraternity, sorority I want to join. But, you know, just knowing it psychologically is a totally different ball game now you can know everything and you might find yourself in, in some situations as well and i've definitely been like that and you know it can, it can be hard but you can know certain things but not actually do it so the second c is conduct you want to help them conduct themselves and go in a direction that their clarity is in. So if they say, okay, I want good grades, now you're gonna help them con conduct themselves. Okay, you wanna get straight A's this semester? Okay, so this is this is what we're gonna do. All right, so you can help them set up certain, uh, you can help them set up certain, shoot. certain habits, routines, things that they really need to do on a continued basis so that they can make sure that they're successful. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up your schedule. You're gonna study for an hour a day. This is what times you wanna study, okay? All right, who do you want to be your mentor? You know anybody that's smart in your class that can help you out? And then you're gonna you're gonna work with them that way, okay? The and so continuously work with them to get their conduct to 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 match what their goal is and, and and what they're clear about okay conduct so the last one you can have um you can have both of these but you can have clarity you can help them get clarity one you can also help them conduct themselves where they're actually doing it too but it will never ever last It'll be it'll, it'll it'll work for a while and then it'll, it'll die. It'll work and then it'll die because they they'll continuously be demotivated if you don't do this last one. And this last C is cheer on. You want to cheer them on so that they continuously feel motivated. They they feel like they're making progress. They doing things and you know what you're doing good. You know, John, you really you're really you're really holding it down. I'm proud of you. You you know you doing good. You did it. You did it. You got a good grade on that test. Hey, you know, I see that your I see that your grades is getting better. Wow, I'm proud of you. You got that scholarship. Okay, you submitted yourself for the scholarship. That's awesome. Wow, you made some phone calls and you actually got a, a interview or a meeting with somebody from that company. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, wow, you you're really you're really 
you submitted your application for for this fraternity or for this organization that, that's great they they seem like they're interested in you while you attend an events just constantly just 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 cheering them on and getting them getting them motivated and, and, and keeping them excited to accomplish the goals that they want to accomplish so if you do those three things you're really going to help them along along that journey all right so first step first i hope this was first of all i hope this was a very uh, a, a informative video for you and i really hope that you really take these concepts and you do it first things first out of everything start with everything step one just go out there and see what students that you can help. Talk casual conversations, see what students you can help. And your first goal is, of course, you want to befriend them, connect with them, get to know them. And your first step is just to help them get clear clarity. And that can just easily just be through conversation. It don't necessarily have to be in a first or second conversation. And, but just start off talking to them. And helping them just get more clear on what they want to do. All right. So hope this was 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 hope this video was very helpful and informative for you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can definitely email me. You can definitely write your comments. Uh, you can write your comments below, or you can just uh, you know just write me personally. Just let me know what part of this video that you liked or what part really helped you. All right. So until I see you one of my other programs, or or you know until I see you. Um, you know, on my on, on my Facebook page or through one of my social media pages, I want you to continue to go out there and and continue to make a real difference. This is a movement that we're doing. Students will no longer have to struggle because they know there's people out there that's willing to see them succeed and move forward throughout this college journey. So and, until I see you next time, continue to make your college experience an excellent one. See you soon.